Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Blasphemous. Let me go ahead and move my mouse out of the way. Uh, last time, we got down here to the painting canvas after going through the Library of the Negated Words. Sounds like some sort of uh, forbidden library. So, now we're down here. I had to walk over here to do the intro because uh, this guy started walking towards me. Oh, okay, you're like a dry bones. I hit you and you go away. Good to know. And you're a painting that attacks me. I've seen plenty of you in, uh, Bloodstained. Oh, cool. Oh, that's... that's dark. It also got me hit. By these characters. But hey, that's an execution we've never gotten before. Uh, you're tanky. And I don't think I want to be hit by you. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you're pretty slow, though. Ow. Alright, well, let's heal up. There we go. Not too much of an issue. We once again have a absolute ton of, uh, tears. Sooty garlic. Dark bulb covered in black dust. Its finding is an omen of good luck. Since it only grows as the first fruit on burned grounds, it is said to soothe many aches when used in a tisane, although few dare to try it. Cool. So we can give that to the healer people. It cannot be. I could have sworn the candle depicted in that painting was lit, and that the room gleamed. Could I be losing my mind? Yeah, probably. It's another thing uh, big with the Lovecraft is like frescoes and paintings, I've noticed. Alright, well let's just uh, scoot under that. There we go. Just make sure we stay ducked. Ow. Alright, one of you to deal with. Alright, let's go back here and heal. Quickly. There we go. I was really hoping they didn't attack again because that might have killed me. Alright, sorry people with like... I can't tell if it's wax or if it's bronze. It looks bronze. I am fearful. The little one stopped crying as soon as we placed him in the arms of that wicker woman, as if it were his mother. Sometimes I can't help but think there's something living in that wicker. Sometimes it seems to be rocking him in the darkness. Well, you people, uh, are like straight out of a Junji Ito horror short, aren't you? This is a precious... And may I don mourn in black? Okay, wicker knot. Bead braided in a spiral motion, covered with a light coat of varnish that has protected it from the wear and tear of the years. A mother's hands work these strands and bless them. Their influence provides protection from toxic damage. Well, I Hand definitely want this. Over is not something that delights me. So, its price is as high as its value to me. And may the bells toll for me. Wow. Yeah, now that is expensive. Feast what about your this? eyes on the envy of every merchant. The finest treasure to ever find its way into my hands. And may my heart stop beating. Key of the Inquisitor. A master key forged from steel. The heat of the sword carried by the great Inquisitor announced his arrival. Okay, well I definitely want the bile vessel. That is something that needs to happen. For sure. As for everything else, it's kind of up in the air. Hmm. Okay, so I definitely want to wait for this pendulum to get onto the right before I jump over here. Ow, that hit me. Yep, I didn't pay attention to where that left pendulum was actually uh, coming from. Or where it was going to end up once it got to the end of its journey. There we go. Hello. There we go. Those are pretty easily dealt with. 
You, however, are not. For I have to kill you. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty quick. I have to kind of predict your attack. Well, there you are. You're dead. At least this is an excuse to get more, um, of the soul thingies. Huh. They die from one combo. Uh-huh. Blue candle, hand, red candle. That looks like a puzzle solution to, um the area where I fought the charred visage, because there was a blue candle, there was a red candle, and then obviously the hand is the boss room. Maybe that's a hint towards something. Let's see if there's any space to write it down on my paper. There does not appear to be. I should probably get a new piece of paper soon. Blue... candle... and... red candle. Alright. Went ahead and wrote that down. Because that seems like it might be pertinent information. Are you just going to uh, stay up there? Do you not go down at all? Huh. You're an easily cheesed enemy then. If you can't, if you can't go down, you can only float to the left or right. I can just do this, over and over. Oops. Swung the wrong way that time. There we go. Easy method for taking care of those paintings. Alright. And scoot right under that. Oh jeez. Fuck. I did not mean to dash. <laughs> I did not mean to dash at all. This this is what I get for exploring other areas instead of just doing the one that my other doubt was at. I'm not dealing with you guys. You're not worth it. I do have enough for that bile flask now, though. Whoa, I got on top of him. Cool. I didn't even know that was possible. But here we are. Yeah, let's ignore that other doubt really quick so that we can get through this room. Because we do have to defeat some more enemies to get through here. Ow. At least these don't do a ton of damage. Jeez. Alright, you. Alright, I got my heal off, that's what matters. There we go. Now let me out of here with all these bronze boys. Alright, we can go ahead and buy that uh bile vessel. Hand gimme gimme. This, I made the bell. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I do enjoy more heals. And I will certainly be back at some point. Alright. So that's some of our guilt gone. Now we just have to not mess this up this time. Which is easier said than done for sure. Okay. So right here, yeah, I barely dodge it. Okay, that was not the correct way to handle that. Okay, so we can jump over it. Good thing to point out. Ow. Shit. There's just so much. They're just constantly going back and forth. And you get no break to kind of examine it. Unless you actually nail the uh, jump every single time. Huh. Does that get me? Yeah. Cool. This is just a good way to handle this enemy. I don't feel like that's intended. But I'm doing it. All right, let's go give this another shot, I suppose. 
Well, we're getting a lot of uh, tears out of this. Maybe we'll be able to afford that key before long. Okay, that's not a useful attack to use against this enemy because it constantly backs up like an asshole. Alright, so yeah, we're already up to 1,500 tiers again. Now let's see if we can just do this damn room. Alright. Here is good so far. Yeah, I should have just done that from the beginning. Ow. Okay, just, just run. Just go. We made it. You have acquired medium bead of blue wax. Huh. And I can't get you for sure. What does that do for me? Tiny pebble of melted wax. The cries from his tortured zealot still reverberate inside and slightly strengthens the wearer's fervor. So yeah, we just got another one of those. Weird. We did get a teleport back to town though. Kneecap of Sebastian, the puppeteer. Oh, yeah, you guys are nothing. Just go away. I'm not even going to pay attention to you. I'm just going to swing wildly until you die. Ow. Finally, uh, just go away. Thank you. There. So now we can get back to Albero, and we can turn in yet another... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Yet another, um healing item to these guys and I guess we should turn in those bones we found because there's those books in that area talking about that merciful be penitent one with your contribution the work of this brotherhood carries on more tears that's a pretty good uh, chunk of them though we may just get enough to get that key that is very, very expensive in the shop. Alright, so do I hold the bones in my inventory, actually? Yeah. Oh, okay, no, they're, they're here. They're listed as us obtaining them, so... Let's go ahead and turn these in, I guess. Uh, because maybe that'll proc the room with those books. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount. I have to assume we get um, some kind of reward for actually acquiring all of those. Alright, back to the... what is it? Now, now we're at the landscapes. Well, I think we want to teleport to Mercy Dreams. Yeah, this is where we want to be. Yep. This is that little shortcut we saw forever ago. All right. But now the struggle becomes we have to get back through this room except the opposite way to uh, actually free ourselves of this hell, which, you know what, there we go. There we go, there's a quick way of getting through this room. Good, good. Now I don't have to deal with it. I will absolutely take that. I lose a little bit of fervor, but uh, that is a loss I am willing to take, and I can just pay to get rid of it later. Because, boy, I hate that room. Let's just rip this here uh, painting out. Get rid of that. Nobody wants that. That's a bad spot for that execution. Ow. I should have been prepared for that. There we go. Now we're behind you. We just chop you a bit, and you're done. Whoops. I guess we're dealing with this painting too. Artists hate him. Whoops. Here we go. Up and over. All right, not uh, not going to deal with you. There we go. Let's just uh, keep going. Jesus, Penitent One. All you had to do was put a foot forward. 
one foot, just just touch the platform with it, and you would have made it. But instead, you're like, nah, these spikes looking yummy. All right, maybe we should take you out this time because you were proving to be sort of annoying last time. So goodbye. Now let me do this room in peace and get as far over as I possibly. Jesus fuck! I hate I hate these rooms. <laughs> this is why I don't play uh, precision platformers at all, usually. They are very hard for me. Alright, so... We have to remember to move to the designated... Fuck! It was on the right side that I'm supposed to get to get away from that, where my where my death mark is. Apparently all these artists really loved their platforming and near-death experiences while traversing platforms. They were just like, oh yeah, in my, in my off time, I like to parkour and dodge pendulums. It's my favorite thing to do, actually. There we go. Ow. Okay, so I gotta remember... If I'm jumping to this platform, I have to get over here and duck really quickly. I can take that hit. That's fine. Ow. Man, just, just fuck these pendulums. Fuck them super hard. Alright. Huh. There we go. We are. Yeah, that was rough. We made it. Strength through adversity and all that. Here we go. And look, we already almost have enough to buy that key from the merchant. Ow. Stop backing up. I hate that. No. Bad. Uh, I don't even know what to call that thing. But it's annoying. Aha! This would appear to be where we are going to fight the boss. And here's our Predue. Cool. Alright. What do you got to say, dead body? The moon is out tonight with a long-tailed gown, and a bull stares at her between the rock rows and the shadows. Moon is out. Penitent one without a name. Find my brothers and guide them to me. Oh, yeah, you okay, so you're where I turn in the clo the baby collectibles, I suppose. Alright. Well, yeah, we're not getting that doubt down there back. Honestly don't think we need it. Just uh dodge that. Is there anywhere else for us to go? No, we could go straight to the right. Let's let's see what's up here first. This might not actually lead to the boss. It might just lead to her, so you can ask for her help. No. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need any help. Ow. You didn't see that. I can, I can just imagine me being like, just walking up to her and uh, saying, and her being like, oh yeah, you need some help with your, uh, with the boss that's coming up? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm kind of a sick badass. And then she sees me just trip and fall on a pendulum while leaving. She's like, oh, poor guy. Poor person, I should say. Alright, climb. There we go. Alright, into the boss fight we go. Hello. Yeah, somebody ordered a pizza? Uh... Oh, you're the... You're the, like, baby with the wicker mom that we saw. I see. Yeah, nah. I can't hit by that. Oh, we're gonna get very annoyed with baby crying noises, aren't we? Kinda hard to get a good spot to hit you. Jeez, you were difficult to hit. Alright. But it's probably just going to take some getting used to. Ow. Taking a lot of damage. Ow. Well, there's all of our healing. 
Jeez. Yeah, I don't know if this boss is uh, one that's going to happen right now. This might have to wait until a later date. I may have came to the wrong area. Ow. Jesus. There's so many ranged attacks and the boss just moves so quickly. It's hard to get a beat on them. And I can only ever get one hit in. It's not like other bosses where I can hit them a bunch. But maybe there's some sort of gimmick I'm missing. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, there might be some kind of gimmick that I'm missing. I'm going to try to not need her help. I feel like that may be for a true ending or something. Never using her to defeat a boss. Or maybe it is just a easier difficulty thing. Alright. Is there some sort of trick to you? I honestly can't tell. Alright, that's not hitting me. No. I'm gonna try it, play it a bit safer. There's like a different, differently uh, colored part of the like weird snake thing's body. I'm wondering if I can cut that off to kind of free the face so that I can safely hit it. Maybe that's the thing. No, oh. It did do something. I can't quite tell exactly what it did. It looked like it just had a little hit spark. Okay. Looks like maybe that just does more damage. Ow. Yeah, this is going to take a few uh, practice runs, but... I feel like it's something we can do. Ow. I'm trying to hit that part. Can't quite do it. Ow. I haven't really paid attention if this uh, boss is poisoning me or not. I don't think they are. I feel like I've got a good sparkle in here. Did I, like, break the boss? Oh no, get out of there. Whoa. Did I really just win? <laughs> I think I, like, cheesed the boss by getting into a spot that they just couldn't get to me. Requiem eternum. Oh, cool. Your guilt goes away if you defeat a boss. I didn't know that. Huh. Well, then. I think I just... Like I said, I think I just got into, like, a, <laughs> a kind of cheesy position. Uh, that definitely wouldn't be the first time that's happened in a uh, Souls game. Souls-like before. There's a lot of bosses you can cheese. And in a game much more similar to this one, I feel... Uh, in Hollow Knight, there is uh, one of the hardest bosses in the game for a lot of people. Uh, you can very easily cheese by just hiding behind a ledge, basically. So, huh. Well, I thought I was going to be attempting that boss for a very long time, but it seems like that is not the case. Ah, uh, you're just a mea culpa shrine. I don't really have any need for you because my mea culpa didn't increase in level. Huh. Yeah, that boss is a bit easier than expected. Hello? Please don't kill me. I have like a sliver of health. I barely beat that boss. You have acquired the embossed mask of... Crescento, I believe that's said? Crescent. Artifact found in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a dusty library. Hmm. We get a... Nothing happened. Well... That was a secret wall. Please tell me there's no enemies in- it. oh, Jesus. Okay, no, I'm just- I'm getting to that, uh, 
teleporting spot. I'm not going for that parade you up there. Nope, we are not doing that. We're just going to go back to safety and rest there. And wow, we have 18,000 tears. That was a lot of tears. Yeah, I can't believe I ended up beating that boss that way. That's, that's kind of funny. Is there a... Yeah, we don't have uh, any... We're not... We haven't been to any spots recently that would allow us to fill up our uh, empty flask. Hmm. Well. Yes. Let me just go ahead and rest up. Alright, so what did we... wonder if uh, that new item that I got is one that can be blessed. The ravages of time have taken their toll on the mind of the one I once respected like a father. He has allowed himself to be carried away by the superstitions and fallacies of the village, searching for the impossible with his clouded eyes among the altars of the mother. And Dolphos betrays the trust of his most illustrious, taking refuge in the cold peaks with his host of servants, wearing his introspection as an excuse to hide his laziness and lack of faith. Only I, the only one capable of ascending to the marble halls with an adequate response, remain. The forbidden volumes of these endless shelves will not resist the zeal of my searching much longer. So it seems like there was some competition between the people that were trying to ascend. Interesting. Let's see. I don't know for sure, but maybe this character can bless this mask. I, I really... I, if it tells you what items can be blessed, I, I didn't pay attention when I had the cloth. I kind of just saw this place and came here. Bring me a... Yep, no. It cannot. Alright, so, one thing I want to do before I end this video off... ...is I want to go back and fill up our empty flask that we bought. And I also want to uh, go to that merchant and buy that key. That was very, very expensive. But we have a lot of money. Or tears in this case. All right, so it was, where was it? Jeez, oh yeah, we were all the way over here. Where was that merchant? Were they in the sleeping canvases? I'm pretty sure they were, yeah. So if we teleport there, hmm. I think it's right here. It would make sense that the merchant is right near the uh, teleporting spot. So let's see if they're nice. And put them very close. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I thought I was teleporting to this one, honestly. But that's Mercy Dreams. Let's see. I can't, for the life of me, remember where that merchant was. I don't think it's up there with the pre dieu That's for sure. This just leads back down there. Back to the sleeping canvases. Hmm. Do we have to go back through this again? No, let's just let's let's teleport to that other end and just do it that way. That seems easier than dealing with all of these annoying contraptions again. I just remember I, I just wish I remembered exactly where it was. Yeah, Mercy Dreams. Guess we can rest here. So why not? Oh, did I did I kill the thing you wanted me to kill? For the love of the high will. Um. Oh, maybe he's the one that wants the key that I have to buy. That could be it. Oh, yeah, there was this room. I can't. Yeah. What about it? I have the kneecap. Hmm. I can only assume I have to come back here once I have all three of those. Now let me in. Yeah, here you are. Jeez. Get a better shop location, please. Feast your eyes and make Yeah, I don't give a shit. Shut up. 
key of the Inquisitor. This and... and may I yeah, I don't care. Just give it to me. I hate you. I hate you. Alright. What's the fastest way to get back now? Definitely to go through this room. And if I die while going through it, I'll just resolve my guilt somewhere. Ow. And there we go. We're gonna resolve our guilt, but at least we get a fast teleport back. Yeah, those rooms are mean. Those rooms are very, very mean. Is this by the... Yeah, this is by the guy with the jangly keys, too. I want to check in with you to see if you wanted this. Nope. That's apparently not what you wanted. Alright. Well. I think this is probably a good spot to go ahead and end off. Uh, we might as well go over here and resolve our guilt. Or... What, what, what is it? I don't, I don't remember what it's called. Actually, I could just do that off camera. Uh, next time I'll meet you back at a uh, Predu with my guilt gone. I will be guilt free. And then uh, we'll pick up from there and see where we have to go next. I will see you then.